Uh, come and look at my early moving picture device. It's an intriguing thing, very simple, but it works pretty well. You can see it's a picture of a swing going back and forth, and as I spin it, if you look through those slits, you can actually see the swing moving back and forth in a repeated pattern. Well, the way it worked was it was a drum with regular slits around it, and inside it was a series of pictures not unlike movie film of today. A series of pictures, each one slightly different from the one before and after. And it started where it left off, so it was a repeated pattern. Let's have a look at another one. Here's a windmill. You can see each picture varies, one after the other. If I roll that round and tuck it into the drum, push it below those slits, and look through them at the pictures as I spin it, you'll see that we get movement. Slightly erratic but it's uh, obviously turning the windmill around. Well, that was, um, really was one of the early moving picture devices, but it's a bit hard to make that. You can, however, make a similar sort of device. All you need is drawing compasses, pencil, ruler, cardboard, and scissors. And here's what you do. First of all, draw a whole lot of circles, probably five or six is enough to begin with, and through the point in the middle, the center of the circle, Draw a straight line across. Turn your ruler around and at right angles, draw another one. Take some time and get this accurately. Now you can split each of those quarters into two, but it's probably easier to do it just down the middle. And so that you'll end up with, if you do it accurately, eight portions of that circle, each one the same size. And your circle will look like this. Okay, well those five circles have a point, because from that one out, that's about the distance you'd want, is going to be your slits. Colour them in, and you can eventually cut them out. Again, work accurately, I haven't got the time to. And under each one of those slits, you want to draw a picture. But now let's say you're going to do a man who's um, waving his arms in the air, like this. Up and down, up and down, repeated pattern. Okay? We want to get his body in the same position each time. So here's where this next circle comes in. Every time it crosses a line is his head all the way around. From his head down to this line will be his body, all the way around. And at the bottom, you can put his legs on, all the way around. And if you do that, and rub out some of the extra circles, it'll look like that. I've started to cut it out now. I've left one circle, because that's where the arms join on. Rub it out so it's very faint, and your circle will look like that. Now, here's where we get to the tricky bit, the bit that moves. The extreme is up in the air, or down at the bottom, and halfway between, the arms are horizontal. So here's one extreme, arms right in the air, like that. Opposite that, they have to be fully down. A quarter of the way around, they'll be horizontal on the way up. Over here, they'll be horizontal on the way down. And it's an easy matter now to fill in the, the degrees between. This will be slightly on the way down. This will be nearly horizontal, horizontal. Slightly further down, nearly all the way down, fully down and then they start coming up again until they're nearly horizontal here and so forth all the way around. Complete that circle and that's the finished disc and it looks like that. Okay? Now you want to poke a pencil through and use one of these pencils with six sides because it doesn't spin in the hole. Poke it all the way through, turn the face of that to a mirror, look through the discs the way we did with the drum at the picture and spin it gently. And if you've done it right, you'll have your own moving picture show.